As you make your way through Horizon Zero Dawn, you're bound to come across an assortment of different outfits for sale by various merchants that roam the lands of the New World. One particular outfit is hidden away, and will require you to find several different power cells to unlock it. In this video, we'll go over how to complete the Ancient Armory quest, find all the power cells, and unlock the Shield Weaver armor in Horizon Zero Dawn. Getting the Ancient Armory quest is the easiest part of this entire journey. To obtain the quest, all you need to do is find a power cell, or make your way to the bunker where the armor can be found. To find the bunker, we suggest climbing the first tall neck you encounter at Devil's Thirst. This will fill in the map surrounding it. Then you should be able to find the bunker just northwest of the Merchant and Campfire, around this area. To find the first two power cells, you'll need to at least beat the Womb of the Mountain quest. The first power cell can be found within the first set of ruins that you explore when playing as a younger alloy near the start of the game. You can't find the power cell until after you've grown up. Once grown, return to the ruins, and explore them until you locate an opening blocked by several stalagmites and stalactites. Break the barrier and head inside to find the power cell on the ground. The second power cell you need can be found in the All Mother Mountain, which you get to explore during the quest, The Womb of the Mountain. Look around the area until you spot a room with a massive locked bunker door with a bright red hologram on it. Turn it to the left here and look down to spot a tunnel that leads you to the next power cell. Now that you have the first two power cells, return to the bunker and interact with the unlit dials to turn them on, the clues of which are hidden on the wall area to the right. Use your focus to spot the answers. In this instance, the dials on the wall correspond to clocks. You need to set them up according to the information on the wall to the right. The correct solution from left to right is up, right, down, left, up. With the dials put in place, the first doors will be open, revealing that the armor is held in place by several clamps. To obtain the armor, you'll need to find three more power cells, then solve another puzzle. The first power cell needed to open the clamps can be found during the quest maker's end. Once you reach the top of Pharaoh's skyscraper, look for another path that leads higher up the skyscraper. Climb all the way to the top to find this power cell. Thankfully, there's a repel hook that will let you get down quickly. The second power cell for the clamps can only be found during the quest Grave Horde. Once in the main foyer of the ruins, look around until you spot this power cell waiting to be claimed. The final power cell, and the last thing keeping you from your new armor, can be found in the quest The Mountain That Fell. Make your way over to Gaia Prime. After the hologram depicting Pharaoh chatting with the scientists fade, look around for a way forward, which happens to be a zipline. Don't cross the zipline yet though. Instead, keep an eye out for a path that leads down to a cave, where you can climb down and find this power cell in the lit room below. With these three power cells in place, head back to the bunker and light up the respective dials. Unlike the first puzzle, these dials don't depict time. Instead, the clues, which again can be read using Aloe's focus, depict various degrees. The correct solution is, from left to right, right, left, up, right, left. With the clamps unlocked, head inside and interact with the armor to receive the Shield Reaver treasure box. And that's it for the video. If you enjoyed what you saw, be sure to like and subscribe. Check our description for more Horizon Zero Dawn content. Come back every weekday for another Prima 365. And for more content like this, be sure to head over to primagames.com.